Hi guys, welcome to today's session. Thank you all for your responses on yesterday. And our yesterday's quiz question was name the import tax which is imposed on certain goods in order to prevent dumping or uh, counter export subsidies. So guys, the answer is uh, it is countervailing duty. That is the right answer. Let's now start uh, today's session. First question for the day, HEIQ Hake Viro Block recently seen in the news is related to option A textile technology, option B malware, option C alternative for uh, concrete construction and option D Raphael Jets. Guys, the correct answer here is Hake Viro Block is a textile technology, so it is option A. Hake Viroblock is one of the most advanced global antiviral products created by Hake, which is a Swiss textile innovator. It significantly enhances the antiviral log reduction and reduces viral infectivity by 99.99%. And uh, it is one of the first textile technologies in the world to claim such efficacy on coronavirus. It has been designed to stay active on treated garments for 30 gentle domestic washes which is ensuring safety for the consumer that lasts for a good part of garment's life. And Arvin Limited, which is a leading textile to retail company, it has entire, uh, entered into a technical collaboration with Swiss textile innovator Hake Materials and the Taiwanese specialty major Gintex Corporation to introduce antiviral viral lock technology for the first time in India under its brand called Intelli Fabrics. That was in news recently, that's why this question is asked. Let's now move to second question. Second question is with reference to the National Institutional Ranking Framework NIRF. Consider the following statement. Statement 1. Medical colleges are not considered in the NIRF ranking. Statement 2. It is one of the criteria for private institutions assessment for the institutions of eminence scheme. And statement 3. IIT Madras top in overall ranking of NIRF. Select the correct answer using the codes given below. Option A 1 and 2 only. Option B 1 and 3 only. Option C 1, 2 and 3. And option D 2 and 3 only. Guys, the correct answer here is it is option D 2 and 3 only. Statement 1 is wrong. Medical colleges are also considered in the NIRF ranking. The NIRF was approved by Ministry of Human Resource Development and launched in 2015. The framework outlines a methodology to rank institutions across the country. The ranking framework evaluates institutions on five parameters. One is teaching, learning and resources. Two is research and professional practice. Three is our graduation outcomes. Four is outreach and inclusivity. And fifth one is perception. That are the five parameters which is used to evaluate institutions. The number of participating higher educational institutions has risen sharply. It has increased from 233 universities and 803 colleges in 2017 to 294 universities and 1659 colleges respectively in 2020. And you can see how the institutes are ranked in the screen. You may please go through it. Uh, it is an important fact. Uh, and uh, it may come in exam also so please note and uh, guys our today's quiz question is um, there is one another index that is sequi uh, that is uh, school education quality index so it is released or published by which organization uh, that is our quiz question please post your answers in the comment section we will now move to last question for the day Last question is with reference to Sahakar Mitra scheme recently seen in the news consider the following statement. Statement 1. It is an initiative by National Corporative Development Corporation NCDC. Statement 2. It will provide an opportunity to professionals from academic institutions to develop leadership and entrepreneurial roles through cooperatives as farmers producers organizations FPO. Which of the above statements is are correct? Option A 1 only, Option B 2 only, Option C both 1 and 2 and Option D neither 1 nor 2. Guys the correct answer here is both the statements are correct. So answer is Option C both 1 and 2. The scheme is an initiative by the National Corporate Development Corporation NCDC, the Corporate Sector Development Finance Organization. It aims to help cooperative institutions access innovative ideas of young professionals while interns will gain experience of working in the field to be self-reliant. 
professional graduates in disciplines such as agriculture and allied areas it etc will be eligible for an internship and also professionals who are pursuing or have completed their mpa degrees in agri business corporation finance international trade forestry rural development project management etc will also be eligible and each intern will get financial support over a four months internship period so that is about sahakar mitra scheme so that's all for today guys we'll meet tomorrow with another set of questions please post answer to the quiz question and discuss in the comment section thank you for watching